In this video, we are going to solve inequalities. You can solve an inequality using the same inverse operations that we used before to isolate a variable on one side of an equation. There are a few rules that we need to make sure that we follow. We need to flip the inequality symbol whenever we multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number. This is very important. You need to know this. Whenever you multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, you have to switch that inequality symbol. So if it's less than, it becomes greater than. If it's greater than or equal to, it becomes less than or equal to. You just have to flip it, make it go the opposite direction. So if it helps you when you're solving these inequalities, imagine the inequality symbol as the equal sign to help you solve. I want to get x by itself. Right now I'm subtracting 2 from x. To undo subtraction, I'll do addition. So I'm going to bring down my x. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. I'm going to bring down my inequality symbol. 6 plus 2 is 8. So here my solution is x is less than 8. So that means that any number that is less than 8 is a solution to this inequality. For the next one, I have x plus 2 is less than 6. I want to get x alone. Right now we're adding 2 to x. To undo addition, I'll do subtraction. I'm going to bring down the x. 2 minus 2 is 0. I'm going to bring down my less than symbol. 6 minus 2 is 4. So my answer is x is less than 4. On the next one, we have x divided by 2 is less than 6. I want to get x alone. x is being divided by 2. To undo division, I need to do multiplication. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so that leaves me with 1x is less than 6 times 2 is 12. So my answer is x is less than 12. On the next example, I have x divided by negative 2 is less than 6. I want to get um, x by itself. Right now, x is being divided by negative 2. To undo multiplication, or to undo division, I need to do multiplication. So I am going to multiply both sides by negative 2. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is positive 1, so that leaves me with a positive 1x. But if you look, I am multiplying both sides of my inequality by a negative number. So that means that I need to flip my inequality symbol. So instead of less than, now I have greater than. 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. So my answer is x is greater than negative 12. On, example, on the next example, I have 2x is less than 6. I want to get x alone. x is being multiplied by 2. To undo multiplication, I do division. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so that leaves me with uh, 1x is less than 6 divided by 2 is 3. So on this one, my answer is x is less than 3. I did not need to flip my inequality symbol here because I was dividing by a positive number. You only have to do it when you're dividing by a negative number. For this last one in this row, I have negative 2x is less than 6. I want to get x alone. x is being multiplied by negative 2. To undo multiplication, I'm going to do division. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is positive 1, so that leaves me with positive 1x. I divided both sides of my inequality by a negative number, so I need to flip 
my inequality symbol. 6 divided by negative 2 is negative 3. So my solution is x is greater than negative 3. Let's look at these examples down here. It says solve and graph. I have x plus 5 is less than 3. I want to get x alone. Right now I'm adding 5 to x. To undo multiplication or to undo addition, I'll do subtraction. So I'm going to subtract 5 on both sides. So I'm going to bring down the x. 5 minus 5 is 0. I'm going to bring down my less than or equal to it symbol. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. So my answer is x is less than negative 2. This is what I'm going to be graphing. So negative 2 is going to go in the middle of my number line. After negative 2 is negative 1, and then 0, and then positive 1. Before negative 2 is negative 3, negative 4, and negative 5. Will this have an open circle or a closed circle? This is going to have a closed circle because it is equal to. And so we'll have a closed circle at negative 2. I want all the numbers that are smaller than negative 2 because this is less than. So that means that I am going to want to shade to the left. You must include an arrow in your shading. Remember that anything that is shaded is a solution. The shading goes on forever, so all the numbers past negative 5 over here, negative 6, negative 7, negative 100, negative a million, they are also solutions to this inequality. For this next one, we have solve and graph negative 2 is greater than n minus 4. I want to get n by itself. So we're subtracting 4 from n to undo subtraction. I'll do addition. Negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2. I'm going to bring down my greater than symbol in n. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. So I have 2 is greater than n. To be able to graph this, I'm going to rewrite it with the variable in front. So I'll have n. My inequality symbol is pointing at n, so I need to keep it pointing at n. So I have n is less than 2. This is what I'm going to be graphing. 2 is going to go in the middle of my number line. Before 2 is 1, 0, and then negative 1. Here I would have an open circle because 2 is not included because I don't have an equal sign, just less than. And then because it's less than, that means I want all the numbers to the left of 2 because I want all the numbers that are less than 2. Don't forget your arrow with your shading. For the next example, we have a divided by 3 is less than or equal to 12. I want to get a by itself. a is being divided by 3, so to undo division, I'm going to multiply. Here, 3 divided by 3 is 1, so that leaves me with 1a is less than or equal to 12 times 3 is 36. So my solution is a is less than or equal to 36. That means that 36 is going to go in the middle of my number line. 36 will have a closed circle because it is included because of that equal sign. I want all the numbers that are less than 36, so I will shade to the right, or sorry, to the left. For this last example, I have negative 4.2m is greater than 6. 
I want to get m by itself. m is being multiplied by negative 4.2. So I am going to divide both sides by negative 4.2. Negative 4.2 divided by negative 4.2 is 1. So that cancels and gives me m. I divided both sides by a negative number. So I need to remember to flip that inequality symbol. And 6 divided by negative 4.2 is negative 1.4. We're just going to round to the um, nearest tenth. So negative 1.4 is going to go in the middle of my number line. And again, you can choose how much you want to go up and down by. I'm just going to go up um, by 0.1s. So here I would have a negative 1.3, negative 1.2, negative 1.1, negative 1.5, negative 1.6, and negative 1.7. Here I'm going to have an open circle because it's not equal to. And then I want all of my numbers to be less than negative 1.4. So I need to shade to the left. Don't forget to include that arrow.